Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition love and general reading. This is for the element of water. So if you're Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of June uh, the 18th through the 20th, 2021. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Uh, please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate. Excuse me, but hopefully, hopefully something does resonate with you. Um, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. And then also, if you want to reach me by phone, it's a separate process. So just make sure that you're registered at bill per call and you can request a call back at any time. If I don't get back to you within uh, that same day, I'll get back to you within a seven day time frame. All right. So we have here the overall energy as the chariot. We've got the ace of pentacles. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands. We have uh, the Queen of Wands. The King of Cups. Seven of Cups. And the Magician. Hmm, okay. You may need to set boundaries with a couple of people. Um, I feel like it's, it's a fire sign and, um, and another water sign. Something's going on where I just kind of feel like maybe someone is, uh, kind of crossing boundaries with you. So I feel like you're going to have to like, you know, stand up to defend yourself. Um, I also feel that there's a visitor coming and something about this visitor, I feel like maybe someone is they may be trying to surprise you uh, but it looks like someone is on their way towards you and I don't know that you know that or not maybe someone's been coming off very confusing or hard to read matter of fact I'm getting even like before starting your reading I felt like super distracted so I feel like there's someone in your energy field that's very this causing some sort of distraction or someone around you is sending mixed signals or something it's it's like an illusion is being created um if you are talking to someone romantically um their intentions I, I feel like maybe it's more so sexually related and i feel like someone wants to keep you a secret um or maybe maybe you're in on it maybe you're on, on board you know maybe you guys have some sort of a, arrangement and you're meeting up someplace and you just want to, you know, pop it off or whatever and then go back to your lives. Um, I do feel like there's a couple of people that keep acting, I don't know, maybe they're trying to act normal, but other people are like, they're doing it. Like, I don't know. I just kind of feel like something's going on where two people are trying to pretend with each other. But like I said, just I would be careful because it looks like someone maybe their intentions are something that is more sexual in nature. I don't know if it's going anywhere. I feel like somebody maybe uh, playing mind games or stringing you along. Um, I I don't know. I just kind of feel like someone is trying to trick you, or someone is trying to get you to take the bait, or someone is trying to get you caught up. Um, matter of fact, I almost feel like maybe there is a situation where. Somebody is like, let's see if they'll take the bait. And they are pretending to be someone else. So if you're, let's say you're in a relationship, I almost feel like your love interest or you, somebody is like going to somebody else and they're like, pretend to be somebody else and see how far they'll take it. Like, will they meet up? Are they going to exchange phone numbers? Like, just pretend. And I kind of feel like there's some, some sort of game going on where um, something is like a setup. So um, be careful you know, who you've been flirting with. <laughs> um, and then, like I was saying, that it looks like someone is, like you're having to set boundaries with some somebody. So maybe somebody's trying to pretend like they're not interested in your love interests, but they really are. Um, I'm getting someone too that just kind of like wears many faces. Like you don't know if this person is coming or going or 
they're just hard to read because every time you connect with them, they're having a, a different face. And it's like, well, where's the real person? I also feel that someone has been using some sort of spell work to attract you or try to draw you towards them. I'm looking at the other side and dude looks like he is like under a spell. He's like, why am I thinking of this person? You know, so I just kind of feel like somebody is doing some sort of spell work and trying to cause uh, some sort of distraction. Um, I also feel that there's someone around you that is always deflecting, turning the situation around. Like one minute you're coming at them about something like, I don't know, like you need to clean your room and blah, 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 blah. And then they're like, well, you know, it would help if I had, you know, laundry detergent to actually wash my clothes and stuff, then they wouldn't be laying around. So who's, whose job is that? Like somebody's like trying to flip it back around. Oh, so it's my fault because I didn't do this. You know, so just be careful because I just feel like someone's very good at deflecting um, and turning something back around to you. And then it's just like, you're all confused or feeling crazy um, or feeling like something's your fault. Mm. I'm also getting someone that is this sending like nudes or something. I feel like somebody is sending like um, nudes. It could be dick pics. It could be women, whatever. It just looks like someone is sending somebody's, somebody is in somebody's DMs and sending pictures and stuff. Um, hmm. I also feel like someone is talking to you indirectly, talking to you through your dreams or trying to send you messages. Um, yeah, I feel like someone's trying to communicate with you more so telepathically or indirectly or in some metaphysical way. And maybe this person's channeling you or trying, like I said, trying to get you to come to them. And I, it's funny because I picked the same energy up in uh, a TikTok story. So yeah, I, I definitely feel like somebody is kind of like putting juju on another person. Now it also could be that somebody is going to like a witch doctor. I don't know why I'm going to call them a witch doctor, but I feel like maybe somebody is going to um, a witch doctor and getting like spell work from this person. Now also you might be the witch doctor and you deal with this type of stuff all the time. You know, people are coming to you for your candles and your spells. So that also could be what I'm picking up. I will say if you are the witch doctor, one of your clients is trying to use, use what you're selling to them on you. So they're going to you for your product and then trying to use it uh, on you. I feel like it's more so love, but be careful. Yes, if you sell some sort of um, hexing spells and stuff, I feel like maybe they could be doing that, but I'm getting this more so something sexual in nature. Um, another thing that I was picking up before I even started on your reading, just something about like arousal. So I do feel like someone is channeling some sort of sexual energy and just like like something shooting out their fingers <laughs> yeah so someone's definitely doing some sort of um sex magic um okay let me clarify a few things so i feel like someone's name is angela I don't know what she's doing or if she's significant to you. I also feel this is somebody who always takes pictures with their eyes closed, whether it's intentional because they're trying to be funny or entertaining, or if <laughs> it's like every time this person is in a picture, their eyes are closed or looking the other way or something. So I feel like there's someone that you're connecting with and this person 
I feel like maybe you're afraid to approach them or they're afraid to approach you and that's why they're trying to like kind of manipulate you into or like soft like like even like a sweet spell like someone is like let me get do a sweet spell and then at least maybe they'll hear me out or give me the time of day or consider me so I kind of feel like somebody is doing a sweet spell mainly because they're nervous um mm. I'm also getting that there is a lot of like I was saying someone is wearing many masks or someone has multiple personalities many faces many profiles maybe so like say for instance you know you think you're a friend with one person you're actually friends with all seven of their their personalities or all seven of their profiles are following you um, and you're maybe you're, you're even talking or interacting with these people um, I also feel that if you try to cut off an air sign, they're coming back. Or if an air sign tried to cut you off, you won't let them go. You're trying to flip it and make them come back to you. You're being asked, though, to have courage to deal with the things that you're afraid of, whatever it is, whether it's um, pursuing a person career a passion is saying that you need to just go ahead and and get something out the way mm. I feel like you're also having like a lot of crazy dreams this weekend it's almost like you're in someone else's energy I see an emo emotional outburst coming up too If you are a writer, artist, or performer, then this is actually a pretty good reading for you because it looks like you're busy being creative, busy writing, busy singing, busy creating. And then too, like I said, if you do, um, do spell work or anything like that, like you have a shop or something. I feel like you're going to be busy making products or selling them. I, I feel like you're going to get a lot of orders coming in. Those of you that have your own business, I feel like a lot of orders are going to come in. You are tapped into many different energies and I feel like you're going to have a hard time distinguishing whose energy is who. Um, so even if you're watching this reading, you're like, well, I'm trying to see which one it is. I know two fire signs. I know another, I know three water signs. You know, I just kind of feel like you might have to let some things just kind of play out then because it is like a lot of energies coming through. Um, if you are confused about who to move forward with, I feel like I feel like these are distractions. I don't know that these are the one. I feel like it's more like a distraction. Um, this is just like a warm up before like your person comes towards you. You also may be entertaining yourself a lot this week to distract yourself from something else going on. Um, so you might be watching a lot of movies, especially, but also maybe listening to music or anything that is is fun and entertaining for you. I just feel like you're trying not to think about something and you're like, okay, I need a distraction. I need to do this, uh, blah, blah, blah. You're trying to keep your mind busy and active.
if you are a writer, I see you getting writer's block because something starts to get too personal. Um, but you gotta just work work your personal life into your story. Um, you might feel like, oh, I don't wanna write that. Um, even like as a reader, like sometimes I see stuff and I'm like, why is this sounding like my life? And it's like, I don't wanna say it. And then it's just like, spirit is like, would you just say it? And I'm like, okay, fine. And then it turns out that yes, there are like tons of people that are dealing with something similar. So I feel like if something feels too personal and you're like feeling blocked because of it, just work through it. Just incorporate it into whatever it is that you do. Um, and that will help you like either heal if you're needing to heal or that's going to help you get over that that blockage. Because the blockage, I just really feel like that's coming from you wanting to hide or wanting to remain anonymous or mysterious with your personal self or trying you trying to keep your personal situation separate but this is a situation where it's like no like your personal life is you know part of the collective so go ahead and and write that story or go ahead and, and give that reading so whatever whatever it is that you feel some sort of blockage with especially more so work related i feel like there's some sort of blockage you and you, you know the way to, to solve some sort of a problem when you just be like what would i do if i was in this situation and you just have to kind of take direction from there you are being asked to use your imagination for certain things too something is like would you just use your imagination so i don't know what it is that you're needing to do and especially if you are someone that is like too practical um you're always like stuck in a logical state of mind or a practical state of mind like you need your imagination that helps you um so s stop being so predictable or practical and do something um outside the box by using your imagination So someone is like um, a witch doctor, a bruja, um, even I want to say high priestess too. I just feel like they do, they're a high priestess as well as someone who uh, creates or does spell work. You, you are being asked to work your magic with something. There could be something that you're trying to manifest, bring into the material world, something that you desire. Uh, I feel like it's, it's happening or it's working. If there, if you felt like you had some sort of dream job or something that somebody was like, that's a pipe dream, I feel like you should be like, you know, don't believe me, just watch. And just work your magic and manifest whatever that is that you're wanting to do because I feel like something is meant for you. So you're meant to have something. Um, you're having these desires for a reason. So I feel like you're supposed to work with that energy and make it happen. There, anybody that's around you though, that's being phony I feel like maybe you're not responding to somebody because because they're being phony or indirect with you, but they're gonna keep trying. They're gonna tr keep trying to get your attention or keep trying to engage you. All right, so let me go ahead and pull some energy cards for you guys. All 
right, additional messages for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, and Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We have Anxiety. Six Chakra Archangel Metatron. Happy family, overall energy, hostilities. Okay. So it does seem like you guys are stressing or having some sort of anxiety because of some sort of miscommunication or some sort of uh, deflective energy, indirect communication. And it's giving you anxiety. Um, <clears throat> I feel like something is an illusion, something isn't real, and you know, you're gonna just have to get out of your head about it. I feel like you are going to get enlightened um, or figure out how to resolve some sort of issue that you're having. And it also looks like something's being revealed to you. Matter of fact, um, I know I mentioned this before, but I'm getting it again you your enemies are going to be revealed to you in a dream um i see something opening up uh here with the third eye here and so i feel like while you're sleeping something's going to be revealed to you <sighs> something could be going on with a family member or the truth about a family member is going to be revealed to you and then this also looks like you do have to use your imagination in order to think outside the box. You're going to have to make decisions based off of your intuition, your creativity. Just kind of let it guide you. Something else I was getting here. Um, yeah, and then it does look like you are trying to entertain yourself or distract yourself. Um by just watching illusions, AKA movies or whatever. Um, so I feel like you're gonna be doing a lot of that this weekend. You also might be spending time with family. Now, seems to like you're anticipating a response or you're wanting an answer to something. And that's another reason why I feel like you're stressing out. Or if you are the one doing spell work, you're nervous wondering if something is working I just got two that somebody's worried about getting caught. Somebody is like, am I going to get caught? Like somebody is feeling nervous about something that they did. And I feel like guilt is seeping in. Mm. Somebody's going to also make you wonder if you did or said something wrong. But then that's that's that manipulation. Some somebody's doing something and you're like, was it something I said? Was it something I did? Like you're all in your head thinking that you did something wrong. Um, but the truth is gonna be revealed to you. And I feel too like just kind of trust your intuition. Like you're you're better than that. Matter of fact, I feel like um this is also kind of connecting to taking a high road here. And you did have the chariot in the tarot reading. So I feel like something requires you to take the high road. If someone is trying to start something with you, it's best for you to just like ignore it, don't respond, um, to distract yourself by doing something entertaining. Yeah especially if you know you can be triggered easily. Like maybe someone knows how to push your buttons and they're trying to get some sort of reaction from you because I already was talking about how it looked like there was like the potential of being trapped or getting tricked into doing something. So I feel like before you give that person any type of negative energy, just you, you manipulate and, and flip it and turn it into something positive. Um, you know, wish them love and light, even if you kind of, you know, being 
<laughs> you know, sarcastic or whatever, just still do that better than over like insulting the person. So, yeah. You might also have to just log off of social media if the energy is coming from there. So, yeah. So, hopefully those messages resonate, but feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Send you love and grace.